Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, it took a while, but finally some sunshine breaking through this afternoon, though the clouds across parts of southeastern Mass still are somewhat stubborn. And as a result, temperatures there are a little cooler. But otherwise, a quiet day, bright sunshine in Newport right now, with temperatures climbing to the upper 40s to almost 50 in a few locations. So keeping an eye on several things, and we've been talking about this all week. Some showers, windy, and much warmer weather is on tap for Friday. Uh, some areas of fog as well, even a few brief isolated down Downpours. Wouldn't surprise me to even hear the rumble of thunder. I don't think it's one of those it's raining every hour of the day. There'll be some dry periods as well, but keep the umbrella on standby. Weekend still looks dry. We turn chilly though next week. Now, we're not talking about harsh winter weather, but the daytime highs, kind of low to mid 40s, and the late nights and early mornings will be in the mid to uh, upper 20s. Satellite photo shows another deck of clouds off to our west, which will arrive later tonight. We've been talking about this major storm system now sprawled across the northern plains and Great Lakes, blizzard conditions, heavy showers, strong thunderstorms. The main center of low pressure, the main storm center, will actually pass up into southeastern Canada, so we're not getting the brunt of this storm, but it will drag both a warm and a cold front into our area over the next 24 hours, and each front will give us the chance of a shower or a thunderstorm. Out ahead of the storm, spring-like, I mean, look at Pittsburgh right now, it's almost 80 degrees behind the storm, a winter chill. So we get into some of this milder air briefly for Friday and then things start to cool down over the weekend. Not terribly cold this weekend, but it will be noticeably cooler, especially by Sunday. So that uh, storm continues to pull into southeastern Canada. So for tomorrow morning, this is 9 a.m., a few isolated showers, some low clouds and areas of fog. Once we get towards late morning and into the uh, afternoon hours, some scattered showers or the rumble of thunder through at least tomorrow evening. But just in time for the weekend, it does dry out. And even with the showers and some extra Extra clouds for tomorrow. Temperatures a lot warmer. So uh, midnight tonight, uh, we're not nearly as cold overnight tonight. Well above freezing, and a lot of melting taking place tomorrow. Tomorrow morning at 7:30, it's 52 degrees with melting, and mid to upper 50s will continue into the afternoon hours along the coastline with the wind off the water. A little sliver of cooler air, cooler ocean air. So places like Newport and Westerly tomorrow will be a little cooler. Tomorrow morning, 50 with a few showers, some areas of fog, a couple of downpours, and isolated. A thunderstorm can't be ruled out for Friday afternoon. Windy and certainly warm. Temperatures running well above average, mid and upper 50s. Seven day forecast. Saturday's a nice day, probably the milder day, topping out in the upper 40s to lower 50s. The St. Patrick's Day parade in Newport still looking good, breezy but dry. And on Sunday, sunshine. It will be noticeably cooler, though, with daytime highs in the low to mid 40s. Monday, that's not a snowstorm, just the chance of a snow shower. And notice the temperatures cooler next week. Daytime highs about 44. 45 and nighttime temperatures in the upper 20s. If you still have a little pile of snow in your yard right oh, now, yeah. boy, a lot of melting tomorrow. Yeah, we want to see it gone. Gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Tony, thanks. Mark